West Ham, they must be hoping that some of the magic dust that's been over the Olympic Stadium will have wafted over to the bowling. Yeah, I'm sure they will be hoping that, but uh, I don't think it's going to be that sort of season for them. I don't think uh, West Ham are so much going for gold this year as going for somewhere in the lower half of the table that isn't in the bottom three. But I actually think they're, they're probably as well equipped as, maybe even the best well equipped of the signs that have just come up in terms of they've got a manager who who clearly knows about the Premier League and has actually never been relegated, I don't believe. So he will have confidence in himself that he knows how to deal with the teams they're about to come up against. They have a solid core of players who are either still there from when they were in the Premier League or are coming or returning to the club, like McCartney and Collins returning to the club to, to play with them again in the top flight. So we are talking about a, a team that feels like it it's going to know where it's, it knows where it is, and it's been here before, and it's got players like players of the quality of Mark Noble, uh, who you know you know are capable of, of of surviving at this level and aren't going to aren't going to find it a massive uphill struggle. So I think that I think they're they're well equipped to do that. I don't think at the moment they look like a team that's particularly well equipped to to do much more than that. I think staying up is is where the the aim is, but that's okay for your first season back. And I think that West Ham fans, while they haven't always relished. Sam Allardyce's style of football will be pretty content if at the end of the season they're still in the Premier League. Is there a feeling that with West Ham they're going to have to have a season without too much struggle or a season where they're playing from nice football but if they end up with neither that's where it might get a bit tricky. I know where you're coming from because there was a point last season where the, the mood at Upton Park was, was pretty mutinous and that was when the team were neither steaming towards promotion in the way that they'd hoped nor playing attractive football. I think the football actually did get better um, right at the end after the, the, the run of draws that, that nearly sort of knocked the whole thing off course. It did pick up again. And I think that, well, I think it's also true that the fans at Upton Park are, are prone towards uh, losing patience quickly. I, I think it's, it's often for, for a number of years been a place where, where that atmosphere can turn. I, I don't think that Again, I don't think fans are going to be too upset as long as they feel like the, the club is progressing serenely towards staying in the top flight. If, if that wasn't happening and the football wasn't good, then I'm sure there'd be uh, people who had a lot to say about it. But yeah, there's, there's reasons to be encouraged. I think Diame is a solid midfielder and not only solid in terms of his capabilities, but also physically solid and, and, and a presence which I think they'll value in the middle of the park. But also, Madiba Maiga is a, a really fascinating signing because he scored pretty much a goal every other game for Sochaux over the last couple of seasons. Not entirely confident about the situation at goalkeeper. I think UC Askelainen is, is maybe beyond his best years. Uh, they've got Stephen Henderson coming in as well, his young keeper who they think very highly of. So perhaps at some point there'll be a, a passing of, of the baton there. Uh, to stay with the Olympic metaphor, um, but uh, but there's, there's 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 plenty of reasons to believe they can play some some nice football. I think that my my main concerns for them would be is that defence solid enough, and also can Ricardo Vazte, having finally discovered after an entire career his shooting boots, can he maintain that? I'm sure Sam Allardyce would have been pleased with when the fixtures came out to see that uh, they don't face anybody from the top half except for Arsenal in their opening games up until round about November. Yeah, I think that's a huge thing. And actually, when you look at the other two teams who are new up, they don't have that luxury. And, and for me, it's always a critical point when you've just been promoted is can you sustain that, that feel good and that, that ability just to keep playing from memory of last season? And that, I don't, it's a strange thing, the psychology of, of not just football, but I think in all sports, there really is sometimes an element of, well, I know I can win. And if you've got that from last season, you just keep it going. It's very it becomes easy to sustain it. Whereas if you come up a, to a new level and immediately you're getting beaten, it becomes an obstacle to overcome. So if they can get rolling straight away, I think clearly that'll be a huge boost to them in terms of getting towards 40 points or whatever it is that's required to stay up this season.